So, hi everyone, and welcome to this team training call today. Uh, it's Thursday, the 23rd of May, and uh, I'm Paula Melville Clark, and it's a great pleasure to be hosting um, the call today. Now, on this call, we're going to be doing some product training. So, we're all aware, I guess, that having a 60 second story can be very useful when we're talking to a prospect. And some of us haven't thought about having a 60 second story for the products. So that's what we're going to look at on this call. We covered this in our team training when we were all at the Gold Coast. We're now recording these for people who, uh, who, who missed that. And I'm just going to mute everybody. Um, there, so we're just, there we go just a little bit quieter. Great, so I'm going to share my um, screen in a moment um, because there are many skills that we need to be successful in this business and of course product knowledge is one of them. I'm hoping that you can all see that and I'll go to my, my slideshow. Uh, so, you know, we're very fortunate in ASEA that there are currently only five products. So having a basic knowledge of each product or knowing where this information can be sourced is not too onerous a task. So we're going to look about what I love about the. It's a great way to start these little 60 second product scripts. But let's look first of all why product knowledge is so important. You know, knowing things like the ingredients, the personal benefits, the competitive advantage, the other products that are on the market and how good or bad they are, the research into the products, and of course the cost. These are all things that we need to be able to address when we talk about our products. Clay Stevens of the RI training that some of us are, are um, doing says that people with high product knowledge convert more prospects into customers and associates because people buy from people they have confidence in and who come across as professional and knowledgeable. So high product knowledge, knowledge equals success in this industry. Having a good basic knowledge of the products enables us to vary our presentation to that person, you know, to be able to answer their specific questions and deal with any objections. It's difficult to sell a product to a customer if we don't know how that product is going to address their specific needs. So we need to know what the products do and what problems they solve so we can address those. And perhaps one of the most important things about our presentation is going to be our personal testimony about the product that we're sharing. So that brings me to say, you know, if there are any products in the range that, that you haven't used personally, I really encourage you to change that. It's, it's enough to share facts with our prospects, but we need to be able to share from the heart as well through a short personal product testimony to make that sharing very personal. So invest some time to hone your skills in product knowledge, but remember, we don't need to know everything. There are others in the team who can address the things that we don't know yet. And the important thing is to remember that others must be able to duplicate what we say. Um, but of course, duplication is a whole other skill and we're not going to deal with it today. Um, anyway, so back to product knowledge. Now, I find it very useful to have a bullet point list of the things I think are important for each of the products. Now, they may be different ones for you, um, but it's your story. It's your, it's your prospect. Now, we can refer to that list or perhaps in time, we might be even able to commit it to memory so that we can present very effectively in front of a prospect. Now we have a young client in our clinic who had a, a very, or who has a, um, a very aggressive fungal skin condition. We had her on the Renew 28 and her condition was improving. Uh, but when I spoke to her mother after her consultation, it became very clear that her daughter was using soap to clean her face. And I re recommended that she use the Renew Advanced Cleanser in place of soap, but she was very reticent to do this. And so in just a few minutes, I was able to present very clearly the reasons why the ASEA cleanser would support her daughter's skin condition and be far superior to soap or other cleansers on the market. And needless to say, her mother purchased the additional product. Now, I think I was only able to do that because I'd taken the time to have a clear list that I could draw on. So today we're going to do a little exercise 
And um, if you'd like to go along with me and play this game, I'd like you to prepare a product bullet point list. Now we don't have time to cover all the products, so we'll just do one. And of course, if you find this helpful, you can do it for the other products. That is a lot of information that we've all been exposed to um, on the actual Redox products, but less on the supporting products, you know, the cleanser and the moisturizer. So I'm going to choose the Ultra Replenishing Moisturizer uh, to talk about today. So if you just like to write that, what I love about the Ultra Replenishing Moisturizer on the top of a piece of paper, and just put one, two, three, four, and five, and at the end, my personal testimony. Okay, so here is what I love about the, um, and I've chosen the moisturizer. Um, as I go through some of these points, list five things that resonate with you about this particular product. And at the end, perhaps I can ask a couple of volunteers to actually make these into sentences, starting with what I love about the moisturizer. Perhaps one of the most important things is to actually know the correct name of the product. <laughs> you know, it's the moisturizer, of course it is, but actually it's the Renew Advanced Ultra Replenishing Moisturizer. And I know it's a mouthful, but use it the first time you speak about it because actually its name describes the products. It isn't just any moisturizer. This one is actually ultra replenishing and its name is a great tool in itself. Uh, so, you know, we can shorten it to um, just the moisturizer as, um, as the presentation progresses, so forgive me if I do. But sometimes coming back in with a full name can, can be very powerful. So let's just look at some general points about this particular product. We need to know where it fits into the range. You know, we know it can be used as a standalone product, but we do recommend it's used as part of the Renew Advanced range. Renew Advanced, of course, is a unique approach to skincare. It's the world's first and only redox anti-aging skincare system, so it's very cutting edge. And ASEA has taken the best of science and nature by combining its redox, uh, redox technology, which of course is the Renew 28 and Serum, and it's put two non-redox products into it, a cleanser and a moisturizer. And these have been very specifically and mindfully formulated with unique blends of the very best botanicals to support redox supplemented skin. I don't know if I was the first to use it. I know I woke up one day and felt, wow, I'm going to call this my redox supplemented skin because it's a very, very different approach, as we all know, to, um, to looking after our skin. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Renew Advanced course has a very simple regime. It's one, two, three. Three things, cleanse, repair, and replenish. Ah, there's that replenish word again. We must be talking about the moisturizer, right? Exactly. And we know that the regime works for just about every skin type. These products are safe and effective. They've been, been clinically and dermatologist tested. This is very intelligent skincare with mindful ingredient selection. And it was awarded the Dermatest's prestigious and coveted five-star seal of approval for safety and efficacy, meaning they're safe and they do what they say they do. So there may be some things there that you think are important in your, in your bullet lists, but let's start looking now at some specifics uh, about the moisturizer itself. Now there are a lot of moisturizers on the market, but how do we know how to choose the best one, one that really does the job? So when we look at results, we can, we can tell that this one really is powering up and, and doing the job. In independent trials over two weeks, the Renew Advanced Moisturizer showed visibly enhanced skin elasticity and firmness. It also showed reduced appearance and depths of lines and wrinkles. And over a four week trial, as a standalone product, the moisture increased skin moisture by 43%, which is pretty amazing. So let's look at some of the ingredients and remember that these of course are all listed in the library in your virtual office. ASEA groups the ingredients in the moisturizer into three main categories. Um, they come under youthful elements, uh, a pro-bio-oxygen, 
and finally detox and defense. So let's take a look at youthful elements. Now these are the products that give our moisturizer its ultra replenishing tag. Emollients are essential to a good moisturizing product and ASEA uses a patent blend of jojoba, macadamia, vitamin E and olive oil to thwart water loss and basically soften and smooth the skin. But it also uses NMFs, which are natural moisturizing factors. Um, it uses these from olive, coconut, and extract of beef. Oh, do you beg your pardon? Beet, even. <laughs> that was a great one. NMFs mimic the substances found in healthy skin, and they ensure that the skin's uppermost layers are smooth and hydrated, which, of course, gives a younger, replenished, there's that word again, younger, replenished appearance. So the number and quality of emollients in this product is really impressive. Now, we didn't have time to cover everything on the training day that was actually in Youthful Elements, but I have got one that I'm pretty excited about. And if we've got time for it, I'd love to share one other amazing ingredient um, in the moisturizer that comes under Youthful Elements. So let's take a look at the Pro Bio Oxygen. These are a couple of my favorite ingredients in this moisturizer because ASEA includes a topical probiotic and also oxygen attractants in the moisturizer. Well, why? Well, why is there a topical probiotic? Well, many of us over cleanse our skin, which actually removes a lot of the essential bacteria to the skin surface. ASEA uses Lactococcus ferment lysate which is a probiotic um, in the moisturizer and it helps restore healthy bacteria to the skin. Isn't that wonderful? So it's really skincare for dummies, right? Now this probiotic also helps to stimulate cell renewal. Now there's also um, a, an ingredient which is a probio oxygen complex called perfluorodecalin. And this um, we know that oxygen assists in the formation of collagen, elastin, and other elements necessary for healthy skin. And skin gets oxygen from the air, of course, but this product, perfluorodecalin, actually helps to increase the amount of oxygen that's attracted to our skin. Uh, so perfluor perfluorodecalin provides more oxygen to the skin than any other known substance. So when we look at statistics that for example, by the age of 40, oxygen levels in the skin have dropped by over 50%. We can see that this is really a very important ingredient. So let's move on to the, the final area um, of detox and defense. Um, so ASEA includes ingredients that detox and defend the healthy skin barrier. Water extraction is taken from the flower, the fruit, the leaf and the stem of the fragrant star plant, which is actually known as, as Aesthetica's graviolans. And this is all in your virtual office, remember. Go search. <laughs> now this plant is a strong antioxidant and it creates a very healthy barrier on the skin to protect from pollution and free radical damage. So here we have some examples of just how mindful these products are. Uh, so I'm going to encourage you to to um, finish up your choice of five points that resonated with you um, about these, these products. I'll give you um, a few minutes to actually write them down uh, before I, actually I might just stop sharing the screen for a moment. I am going to share um, my five favorites with you in a moment, but um, uh, I'll just stop screen for a moment. And if, if you would like to share uh, your five points, starting with what I love about the moisturizer is, <laughs> then please just unmute yourself and go for it. Remember, this is a 60 second script. So who's up for it? I'm guessing, is everyone still writing or is anybody happy to, to go? Do you all need a couple more minutes? Jeanette's ready. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. I, I, love, I love the cleanser and the Renew Advanced Ultra Replenishing Moisturiser. 
And the five things that I really love the about the moisturiser is that it's unique and cutting edge. I always like those terms, so it just makes it stand out and sound special. I loved the fact that it's a blend of the best of science and the best of nature. I think that says it all. It gives me redox supplemented skin, and who doesn't want that? It's safe and effective, dermatologically tested. So I like the fact that what I'm putting on my skin um, has efficacy and will work and is safe. And the last thing um, is that it's even though it's not a one-stop shop fits all, it's absolutely perfectly um, beneficial for all skin types. So that's what I love about the Renew Advanced Ultra Replenishing Moisturiser. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. That's okay. So did it help you, Jeanette, to, to bullet point those? Do you think that's a useful It sure did. It sure did. And that, they'd be the five points I'd probably use. And I like the way you managed to wrap your mouth around the terminology. Not so much about the beef and the beets, though. No, you, you tried hard, but anyhow. No, and it's funny. I've, I've seen that so many times, and I thought, gee, it looks so much like beef, but, but I know it's beet. And I've never said it before. It'd have to be when, I'm, when it's being recorded, wouldn't it? Yeah. And every time I see beet, I think red all over the skin, but I know that doesn't happen. That's right. Well, thank you. So who else is up to sharing... The, yeah, you slam dunked it, Jeanette, says Janice to, to you. You did. Who else would like to, to share why they love this particular product, the, the, the Ultra Replenishing Moisturiser? If indeed you do, of course. I'm guessing that everyone's used it. <laughs> Anyone else up to share? Yeah, we're all quiet today. I'm going to have to pick on somebody. You know that, don't you? Janice, you're unmuted. Are you going to, are you going to, yeah, here she goes. I thought you might. Um, I've never really been into skincare and that's my truth. And I, I genuinely can say from the heart, I just love the moisturizer. I love the fact that it's got a probiotic in it. I love the fact that it's got an oxygenator in it. I love the, the texture of it. I love the smell of it. Um, I, I just really love it. You know, I don't get into the technicality of it. I just, yeah, I, I get disappointed when I run out. That's it for me. It's lovely. I love that you said you don't have to get into the technicalities of it. And that's so, so true, isn't it? Uh, we just need to be authentic and we don't need to know all of the details. Yes, I think for me initially when I looked at Renew 28 and the brochure, it didn't, it didn't resonate with me or my practice or the way in which I've used other products. It just didn't seem to fit in and so I wasn't really interested in looking at it. It wasn't until the redox molecules were doing something completely different within my practice that I went, what the hell is this stuff? And then... When they brought out the skincare, I was a bit disappointed, thinking, oh, skincare, I'm not into skincare, but oh my God, it just, I can't go without it. I love it. I just love it. I think it's the best thing, and and I've, I've never felt so excited about skincare before. I never thought I'd be excited about skincare. It just, they go hand in hand, and anyone that's got any dryness in their skin, I just, I steer the moisturiser towards any skin skin issues. Um, because it, it just, they go hand in hand with the redox molecules. I hope that's been helpful. It has, it has. Thank you very much, Janice. Um, I might just share my screen and just go through my five so that we, we kind of finish this little segment of what we're doing. Um, so here, let me see. So what I love about the Ultra Replenishing Moisturizer, it's, it's safe, effective, and it's clinically tested. It has a patented blend of emollients and NMFs, which has amazing hydration. You know, as a standalone moisturizer, skin moisture increased in the trials by over 43% over four weeks. So it's very effective. It also includes a topical probiotic to ensure that there's healthy bacteria on the skin. 
and it also has a pro-oxygen complex that attracts oxygen. And it includes an extract that creates a healthy barrier on the skin to protect our skin from pollution and free radicals. So I think um, those are my, my five faves, if you like, um, at the moment. Plus, don't forget your personal testimony, which Janice in, um, showed us so well just then. It, it wasn't really the, the five points that, she, that, that really got me. It's when somebody starts talking about their personal testimony of it, of it don't you agree? That's when it comes from the heart. That, that's when it comes from somebody who's actually using it and loving it. Uh, so um, just um, come back to everybody there. Um, so thank you, Janice, for that. Um, would, you, would you like to hear the, um, the, the other little ingredients that, that kind of thrills me just a little bit? Can I share that one with you all? Being as we're doing the, 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 the big moisturizer. Now, the moisturizer has hyaluronic acid. Have to learn this HA. And of course, we don't need to be telling everybody this, but it just helps my passion to know what amazing ingredients this moisturizer has got. Now, HA is a naturally occurring molecule in the human body. Now, we find it in skin and hair, in our eyes and joints and our nerves, and it, they actually act as a cushion to promote collagen and elastic. Um, it's abundant in the dermis of young skin, but levels of this important compound decrease with age. So adults have like a 20th of the amount of HA that a baby has. And HA actually holds 1,000 times its weight in water. So it is literally a super magnet for moisture. And we know that adequate skin hydration is crucial right, to combat the signs of aging. And you'll find HA in lots of moisturizers, but ASEA formulators have gone a step further. They're actually using a water-soluble salt form of HA called sodium hyaluronate. So it's sodium. Um, hyaluronate, sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing that word, but it's created by scientists from the natural fermentation of plant matter. And the, the sodium um, version of it actually has smaller molecules than its HA counterpart, which allows it to more easily penetrate the skin. Wow. <laughs> it's just another example of a product that's just been so mindfully put together. Uh, so there you go. Um, isn't that, that amazing? So um, please unmute yourselves. Um, any, any thoughts, any feedback, any questions, or if you'd just like to share your, your five points, please do so. Hi, Paula. I was going to say it's Jane here. Sorry, I don't know if you can see me. Um, I'm sitting in the dark. I am the opposite to Janice in that I've always used skincare, you know, from the age of about 13 because I always had shocking skin. I was one of these kids that just had pimples from 13 through to 57. <laughs> and um, what one of the things I absolutely love about the range, and I, I used a range that I loved for years and years and years, but it was very complicated. It had about six products that, you know, you did through the steps. So one of the things I absolutely love about this range is the simplicity of it. Um, the efficacy is amazing. The way your skin feels after it, like Janice says, is amazing. And it's backed up by some incredible technology. Um, so, yeah, I just think it's, it's, um, it's kind of a no-brainer. Like Janice says, it smells great, your skin feels great. And, yeah, half the time I was, used to do it on the run. So I would, like, wash my face with a cleanser and then everything will be in the car and I'll be slathering things on it, <laughs> traffic lights and stuff like that. And you can do that without a without a problem with the with the product so they're amazing fabulous thank you and that's just a testimony from the heart there isn't it <laughs> testimony is so important with these with these products um, i'm just going to go i'm just going to put um a gallery view here um because we're recording it and then people can see um i'd like to ask a question how many people who were using the renew 28 first but then use the support products who then started using the cleanser and moisturizer. What was your feedback? Um, if that was the case on having redox supplemented skin with the renew 28, but then including the cleanser and, and the moisturizer in, in your program. Anyone like to talk into that? Paula, um, 
uh, Julie here. I, like Janice, when we went to convention last year, um, uh, I was mortified when they decided to bring out a skincare range because we were so excited that it was just the two products. But um, I must say, I've always used high-end skincare um, and uh, one from a, the network marketing company. And um, I can chuck out my spa that I used to use. I can, you know, I don't need to have as many appliances because every, our skincare does everything and more than what the other product did. And, um, you know, I just love the ultra replenishing moisturizer. I love the smell, it me feel um, calm, uh, the smell, it makes me. I just feel moisturised and I and my skin nice and supple and, you know, after my head in a pool for 20 years of my life, I just have dry skin and I actually look better now than I did when I was 37. So, um, you know, it's, I love it. It's beautiful and everyone that's tried loves it. So get it people's faces and do spas at home. Yeah. I, I agree. The spa parties are great. Who's been doing spa parties with the Renew Advanced products? <laughs> Up in Julie. Yeah. Actually, I lie. It's actually Sasha doing them. <laughs> oh, wow. So great. So, you know, we've got, we've got yep. guys on the call tonight as well. How many guys are using uh, the Renew 28 and other products? Because I have to say, Barry didn't use anything until till this product came and it was I, think, I guess it's just such a butch product isn't it it's just got so much science behind it um but um <laughs> barry just came in the door and opened and looked at me there it's it's a yes you're <laughs> come on. it's um it's a great product for guys as as, as well as females sorry paula yes i was just gonna say that some people know my husband's an entertainer so he actually wears a whole lot of makeup um, on his face <laughs> as he's a clown a lot of the time and um, so of course he has to close shave for starters and then he has to put on all this horrendous skin soft suffocating stuff um, and then he takes it off with disgusting baby oil because that's the best thing to be able to get it off with um, so his skin's really you know really gets very inflamed and the Renew 28 has just been an absolute godsend to him so yeah he's really happy to use it yeah fantastic that's interesting you say that you need to put the, some baby oil, oil on first. Um, I had a client the other day who, who actually wears quite a lot of makeup. And she said that the, the cleanser itself um, wasn't taking that off. Um, and I said, well, I don't think there's any problem at all using something first in order to remove something that's, you know, like baby oil if you're wearing um, stage makeup or something of that sort. But then use the cleanser because... We've only got to investigate what's in the, the cleanser to know why we use it. Um, these are very mindful products. It's going to cleanse the skin very gently. Um, you know, talking about the cleanser, for example, one of my bullet points for the cleanser is I love the fact that it's got plant AHAs. M uh, most cleansers, you're going to find they've, they've got synthetic adolfi hydroxy acids in them, which can be, which were very damaging to our health and to our skin. But ASEA, again, mindful products. It's used of a gentle plant extract as an AHA, um, which, so, you know, it's, it's, got to, it's got to be the way to go. So um, we've probably got five minutes. Just, I don't want this call to be too long um, because it's recorded. Um, but if we just take um, maybe a, a few questions, if anyone has any, uh, any questions on the products. Yeah, baby oil. That's right, Mez. <laughs> Mez is just saying baby oil is not very good on the skin. Uh, yeah, thank you. Meant, for... meant to be petrochemicals, not metro chemicals. <laughs> yeah, you would be absolutely best using coconut oil. Thank you so much for making that correction. I do totally agree with you. Um, yeah. Um, Paula, have you have you actually done the bullet points for the other the other two products, the serum and the cleanser? I've done them for all my products, for all five products, um, because I think it's much easier to be able to talk into things. Uh, mm. if, if you've got, you know, if they're in your, in your frontal memory, if you like. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Starting place. 
Yeah, we're going to do a, a um, presentation on the skincare range at our next coffee meeting. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, so this has been really helpful. Thank you. And, you know, and I wonder too whether we can't do that even for new people, give them a bullet point list, one to five. Because when we, when we show people a presentation, you know, one of the things we say to them when we follow up is what did you like best about, you know, the, the products? So maybe we could say, hey, I'm going to tell you all about these products. Just write down five things that impress you with it. Uh, so maybe we should get a nice little sheet, one to five, what I like most about the, in the advanced products. There you go, thinking off the top of my head. That's a really good idea at a, to do that at a, pres as, at a presentation. I think that's to peak interest. Yeah. See, where they, see what they've listened to and see what they've taken in. Yeah. I think that's great. Well, it's active um, listening. I mean, as a teacher, active listening. As a music teacher, I never play music unless I ask my students to listen for something in particular. You know, what are the instruments playing? What's the time signature? Um, so it's active listening. But I think it also gives um, people ownership of the product. If we ask them to find five things and then perhaps ask them to speak about the product. And thirdly, um, it, it makes them realize that this is not difficult. I could do this too. I could talk about the five things that, that, that I like yep. Um, yep. as well and pass this on to a friend of mine. So, yeah. Duplication. But just write down what I said because I've forgotten that and I'll need you to send it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe one more, one more question before we, we sign off. Or thought or comment. I've made a comment in the comment section, Paula. Oh, thank you. Uh, is that, that, did you say brilliant? Is that your comment? Above that. Brilliant. Oh, I find when I get low on the moisturiser, I pump a sear liquid into the container. Okay, and water it down a tad. Great tip. Right, a little drop of the sear liquid. Good. Just to try, so, so, um, I've been, I just tap it really hard and I find a lot of the, the moisture that um, inside will, will drop down to the bottom. But yeah, very good uh, thing when it gets even lower. Yeah, what, when it gets lower, um, I pump probably about five, six, seven squirts of the acea into it and give it a good old shake. And it comes out a bit liquidy, but you still get that really good texture. It's, I just, I don't like to waste any of it. I love it that much. Yeah. Everything else has been thrown in the bin. I just, that's a three products now. That's it. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, you know, we've got um, um, Raul on the, the, the call tonight. Hi, Raul from the Philippines. And um, it's a very hot temperature, I think, very hot climate in the Philippines, right? I can see you've got a fan behind you. Um, now, we've got, um, you know, my family um, lives and lived in Hong Kong for many years. So we, uh, quite a few people in Hong Kong and Singapore and the Philippines are asking me if this product is good for hot climates. And I've, I've taken my products through Hong Kong and um, it's, it's, it's been very, very effective there. Unlike some products which are quite comedogenic, you know, quite um, not, not as light, if you like, they, they can clog the skin. So does anybody have any, any experience perhaps for our overseas hotter climate guests on the call um, as to the, its use overseas or even in our hot Queensland summer it gets gets pretty hot and humid down in uh, in Brisbane and on down in the up in the Northern Territory for example any thoughts I I had an experience in Florida um, and I didn't have any sunblock not that I use that um, and I Throughout the day, probably 10 or 12 times, I just kept spraying the sear on my face and arms and my exposed areas. And what I noticed at the end of the day was I hadn't burnt. And I'm not saying it's a sunblock, I don't want to make that claim. But I don't know what Mez thinks of this, but I think the hydration of the cells was occurring throughout the day. They didn't actually dry out. And maybe that's a contributing factor towards skin burning. Um, but when I went to bed and I had been in the hot sun, um, you know how sometimes you continue to burn when you're lying in bed? Well, that didn't happen for the first time in my life. And I thought, ah, so now um, I use it whenever I go out in the sun. I just keep spraying the skin with it and I just find, you know, I get a good result. But um, no claims on it being a sunblock. 
yeah, very good. So, Janice, you just spray the liquid on, do you? Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Very yeah, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm a face, arms, any exposed areas, and it was I was just using it to cool myself down. But I just found that I, I didn't burn, and I and Janine um, is on the call tonight. She'll validate that because we just kept spraying one another throughout the day, and um, it really was quite amazing. I, I found it interesting at the end of the day that um, I tanned up beautifully. I wasn't hot. I didn't have any after burning sensation, and um, and I've done it ever since. Even and we do get extreme sun exposure in Tasmania, believe it or not. And I experienced another really hot day and did the same. And the people around me were using sunblock and I didn't use any sunblock and I didn't burn again. But wow, as, really as I say, every, everybody's skin is different. So don't take that as a, as, a, as a fact for everyone. Everyone's body's different, but that's how it worked for me. Very good. Well, I will test that out in July when I'm sailing around the Greek islands. <laughs> Oh, there's a bit of name dropping for you, Maz. <laughs> Good on you. I'm getting excited on my trip. <laughs> well, I'll test it out when I go to the Bahamas in a few weeks' time. Oh, yeah. Well, I was hoping to get there, but I didn't quite make that one. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of us are going on a cruise to the Bahamas, right? Go to see the company. I think you deserve a, a round of applause there, Janice. Yeah. And, yeah. and Janine and Lisa's on the call. That's good. Wonderful. Yeah, well done to you all. So um, just to finish off, you, you may or may not be interested. I think some of, some of you know, why haven't I got speaker view here? Uh, I don't know. Um, not quite sure why that's happening. I'll just go back to here a second. And okay, I don't know why. It's, um, sorry about that. Um, it's not coming back onto speaker view, I don't think. Uh, so, some of you know that I'm really quite um, excited and passionate about the Renew Advanced products. And so I have started um, a little Facebook page and you're very welcome to come and have a look at it. It's called, and I'll pop it into the, um, into the chat box. It is called The Renew Girl. <laughs> there you go. So if you have a look at The Renew Girl, I'm trying to put some of these things, not all of them, but some of the things that I've um, I've been learning about these products um, bit by bit in, into the Renew Girl. And you're very welcome to, to share anything that I, that I put on there or plagiarize it, copy it, just take it. Um, we're all one team. Um, so there are some things up there already, but um, as I said, it's only four or five days old and I didn't want to put everything up there. And I will also do some Facebook Lives as well. And, and put them up on there. So if it's of use to anybody, you're very welcome. So that uh, leaves me to thank you all very much for being on the call. Thank you for your, your kind words. Thank you for coming in on the, um, on the chat box there. I appreciate everyone's support. We're a wonderful team. We really are, our wonderful ASEA family. I count so many of you as really, really great friends. So thanks for being on the call and um, I hope the call was useful to you and we look forward to seeing you on the training call next Tuesday. Same place, same time, different presenter. Bye for now. Uh -huh. Thanks, Paula. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was fun.